Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this set of videos, we're going to be looking at JavaScript and what is JavaScript? So basically JavaScript is a scripting language used in websites and it allows you to add dynamic um, content onto your static website. So it basically allows the user to interact with the website. Okay, so just before we get started with um, JavaScript, I need to talk to you about um, the three layers that make up um, a website. So the first layer is the presentation layer, and this includes CSS, the cascading style sheet, and this is used to format your web page. So you can have multiple web pages and you can attach a single style sheet, which will give consistent formatting to each web page. So that include, could include the background, color of your web page, um, the layout of your web page using div tags, perhaps, um, the formatting of text. And then you have the content layer, and the content layer is done in HTML. So the HTML is what we can see in front of you right now. And we're using Dreamweaver for this task. So the HTML or the content layer will include the content that will be in your website. So it could be like text, images, hyperlinks, tables, and so on. Okay. And then you have the um, behavior layer, which is part of the um, scripting element of your website. And that's basically where we do the JavaScript to allow us to interact with the website. So with the HTML, you'll notice um, if I click on this tag here, it closes here with the back of the slash. So all of the HTML content is going to be going between these two tags here. And the HTML is made up of um, two sections. So you've got the head section and a body section. So the head section may include metadata such as keywords, which will allow your website to be found in search engines. Um, it may have um, a link to a style sheet and the title that will appear when you run your page. So if I go to file um, real time preview and then go to yeah, just save changes, you can see we have the title that appears at the top of your tab here. So that basically links to what we have here and you can change that to anything you like. So that's the head section. And in the body section, we will include the content of our website. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just, I'm going to write some text. So H1, refers to heading one. So you can see we always open and close with the backward slash. And let's just write something. So welcome to my website. So H1 is the first heading. If I copy and paste this, I'm just going to say, um, my name is Yasser Ahmed. Ahmed. Change the second line to H2, so heading two. So let's see what we have. So what to save? Okay, so you can see uh, we have the first line, which is H1, and H2 is slightly smaller. Okay, so that's some HTML content right there. Okay, now what we're going to do is just add some scripting um, to our website. So if I just type in script, okay, the script element enables dynamic script and data blocks to be included in documents. Um, so let's just select script and as soon as I close the bracket, you can see we have the closing tag as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up some uh, variables. So the variables are used to contain uh, values, pieces of data. And we're just going to do a simple calculations initially to get started with. So VAR. So we've got X. We're going to have Y. And we're also going to have T. Okay. So X and Y are going to have values. So um, let me just, X can be equals to maybe uh, five. Y can be equals to um, 10. Okay, and what we're going to do initially, we're going to leave T for now. We'll come back to T in a second. If I type here alert, okay, and in this alert, I want to basically add X and Y. What will happen is I'll have a pop-up that appears and I should have the number 15. So five plus 10 is 15. So let me just um, click on save, go to real time preview. So we've got 15 and an alert has popped up and then the rest of the content has appeared here. Now what we can do is we can include the T variable now and T can be equals to X and Y. Okay. And what we can do is something like this. We're going to concatenate now. We're going to have a text string added to a variable. So in speech marks, I'm going to include um, 
x plus y equals, and then we're going to basically output t. So to join t to this text string, we need to include um, an addition sign. So it basically joins it to together, concatenates. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so x plus y is equals 15. And then you have the content. What you can do as well, you can add to this. Um, so let's add another variable. Um, so t was for total. Um, let me change that to um, a, a for addition. Just makes more sense if I use a for addition. And then t, because we want to times these numbers together. So if I now just make another alert. So addition was a, and this is going to be times. So 5 times 10 should be 50. So let's see what we have now. So that's the addition. X multiplied by Y undefined. Let me see why. Because we haven't done it here. So, um, so T is going to be basically X times Y. Okay, so it's undefined because we hadn't set the value for it. Now t is equal to something. Let's see if that works. There we go. Job done. All right, so that was the first tutorial. And what I'm going to do in this video as well is I'm going to add to this website now. So, um, or add to this um, content. So let me just cl click on save. First of all, uh, save all. And I'm going to make a new file now. So file save as. Um, still in task one, but I'm going to call this two now. Click on save. Okay. I'm going to delete this part here because we don't want to use this now. Uh, let me zoom in so you can see what we're doing a little bit better. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create some more variables. But this time, this time it's going to be some text strings. Okay, so I'm just going to write um, teacher, for example. So that's the name of the variable. Equals, and um, I'll write my name. Okay. And uh, what I'll do next is create another variable for the subject. So remember these variables are containing pieces of data. In the first part, we looked at storing integer values, which we calculated. And now we're just uh, storing some text strings. Um, so say Java script okay and what we're going to do is create an alert first of all and just say welcome okay and if I run this nothing's gonna happen yet apart from the alert that says welcome Okay, then we have the content that appears. Get rid of these things here. Saying welcome again, and uh, that's fine. Right, what we're going to do is I'm going to now create another variable. And this time we're going to allow the user to put their name in. Okay, so this variable is going to be called um, first name, but to make it shorter, f underscore name. And we're going to prompt the user to type in their details into this variable. So please enter your first name. Okay, and we also want their second name. So don't make the variables with the same names, you have to change it. Um, so please enter your second name. And what we're going to do now is join these values together with the two variables that we already assigned here. And we're going to create an alert. So alert. Okay. We're going to have text string first. Um, actually, I'm going to get rid of this welcome now. We don't need this one now. Um, let's do it down here instead. So welcome. Have a space because we don't want the variables to be joined with the text string. 
welcome. And then what we're going to have is the first name and second name. So the contents of, of this variable is going to be shown. And because we don't want two names to be stuck together, we need to inc include the speech marks and the space. And then I just realized I made a mistake. So it's meant to be uh, F underscore name. Okay. And then what we're going to say on the next alert is the subject, okay? And then teacher. So subject, and we're going to basically join this subject here, the contents of this variable. So if I type here subject, whatever's been stored in this variable will be shown here. Plus, and I want a space, plus, and then the teacher name, which hopefully will be the contents of this variable here. So plus, um, so the plus here in this case just basically concatenates joins the variable with the text string. And let's write the name, the teacher variable. So let's go ahead, save this and run. So you can see we now interact in our web page. So I'm going to type in, not my first name, let's make up a name, uh, Bob Jones for the second names. Uh, and then you can see it says, welcome Bob Jones, subject JavaScript teacher Yasser Ahmed. So this information here has been pulled from the variables that we've stored. Okay. So that was the first tutorial, guys, um, with JavaScript, um, just working with basic uh, variables um, and then using concatenation to join the contents of the variables to text strings. So please join me in the next video. We're going to be looking at using um, inner HTML to basically change um, IDs um, in paragraphs or headings and so on. So join me in the next video. Um, you can see how powerful JavaScript is. The more we get into this um, sequence of uh, videos, you'll see how we can add JavaScript to your web page to allow more interactivity. Um, okay, guys, please drop your comments below. I hope it was useful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.